hello everyone today i will be deploying hello world application in ecs cluster through terraform for this we'll be proce uh, following three step process the first process would be to actually apply the remote state this will create a s3 bucket and lock table for keeping the remote state for other tf projects the other tf project here is the ecs terraform project and we need this remote state so that we can collaboratively in a team can uh, work on terraform uh, and that is the actual practice being followed in every projects uh, so let's start with this uh, so i've already cloned this repo so i will open it in uh, here and i have my terminal here and i will just paste the command let's see what does does it do so if i go to my uh, s3 uh, you know console here i don't have any bucket so ideally this uh, should create an s3 bucket and one dynamo db table right now there is no dynamo db table as well so yeah so when i did terraform apply it said that it will actually create a dynamo db table and a s3 bucket so let's apply it so it is creating a dynamo db table and s3 bucket uh, so if i go to the code base uh, here in remote state you can see that a s3 bucket and a terraform locks dynamo db table is being created so these two have been created let's refresh the page and let's see if the table has been created or not so you can see here is a the table and uh, Here's the bucket. So we are all set for the remote state. Now we can follow the next step. And the next step is again a Terraform apply, but from the easiest Terraform project. So I will just go back to the root folder of this repo. And from here, I will paste this. So now it will create a bunch of things which are needed to actually, you know, uh, set up the ECS cluster. And like there would be a VPC, there would be a VPC to be created, then an ECR repository, then a security group, uh, and a security group rule, ECS container security group again, then hello load balancer listener target group a cluster and a task definition which actually in this case will not be created because there is a conditional condition and this condition i have not given it as for now so it will not create a aws ecs task definition and a ecs service so yeah 17 things to be created good and there would be a ECR repo URL available and web endpoint available after applying this change. Uh, this has also been mentioned into the readme. And let's first see if it gets applied and then we'll have those things ready for us. It might take a couple of time because so many things has to be created and it will make sure that a prerequisite is already created then only it will create the subsequent dependent uh, resource there is a beauty of terraform that it knows like which resource is dependent on which resource so for example if you see there's a aws security group right but this security group is being use somewhere right so let's say ecs container this is being used here so it will know that before creating the aws ecs service it has to first create the security group so it takes of uh, care of that sequence so right now a load balancer is being created and the load balancer would take time to be created all the other things have been created if you see a ECR repository created, uh, AWS task execution rule created, and bunch of other stuff. I don't want to get into details. But what to do till then?
Hmm. Maybe I will edit it. The section. हो गई इंतजार की Oh, thank God. It took three minutes, fourteen seconds to create a load balancer. Good, good. No worries. So yeah, we can see that this URL is available. Let's hit it. Five zero three. Why? Because there is no source code yet deployed. And if we go through this, we can see that to for any new source codes to be deployed we need to make any desired code changes into the source directory so let's go into the source directory and see what's there yeah there's just one index.js which has like if you hit it and it will just respond to send hello world and yeah i'm fine with it i don't want to change it so let's keep it like that uh, and see the next step so this is the next step creating a docker build uh, so that docker image is created so what i will do is i will just go back to the group directory of this project and then hit this and the docker ecr repo url is available to us so we can just change it and that will be this And the version we can say it as version 1.0.0 first version hmm because docker is not running now it's running normally this happens like we are bound to make some mistakes right so now the docker is running so we can hit this so it will build that docker image yep it is done now what we need to do is docker push command again the same this this We have also pushed the Docker image in our ECR repository. Now we can apply ECS change, which will actually trigger the task definition part, this part. Uh, so let's run this. I will go back to the group project. And uh, sorry, yeah. Um, so the version is v one dot zero dot zero, which I actually gave um, as a tag to the Docker image. It's the same. Okay. 
let's go to the ECS console and see uh, what's happening there so there is a twisted dev created and if I go to the task definition a hello task definition has been created so let's wait yep new task definition has been created now this should actually um, okay a new task definition has been created uh, but let's see if it has registered to the load balancer uh, so it will be an easy to So we have a load balancer and if we see the listeners and then the, its target book, let's see if the target instances has been registered. So yep, not yet registered, but I think it will get registered in some time. And if not, then there is an issue and we should look at it. So let's go to clusters, cluster.dev and then tasks. No task yet, services yes there is a service and what happened we should see in the events so it is creating a two task and i think it has status is strong because this hello world v100 has not yet been found because i missed a step yes and why did it happen because I did not follow the readme yeah we have to do a docker login so let's do that East one. It's the default region. If you want to make sure that that's the region, it's here, North Virginia, US East one. So now it happened. Now again, I have to run the Docker push command. This will get pushed. Good enough. And I will wait for the last statement, uh, last uh, you know output. Never ever ignore the outputs. That is something we can learn from here. done finally now it should be working see it started it started oh and the latest one is here still out sorry my bad maybe it will start again Now it's running. It's provisioning. Desired state is running. So let's see. Pending. It's in pending state. It will come up. No worries. Let's wait for some time. Yep. It's running now. And what about this? It's also running so I believe this should work fine let's reload this no not yet why because there's some health check on the load balances and that hasn't been yet passed so let's go to that and see if the health checks are passed or not yep there is a health check and what about targets 
has not been registered yet yep now it's healthy so we should be able to see yep we can see now let me refresh 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 yep that's all thank you i hope this will motivate you to learn terraform and see how it is easy to create ecs cluster and deploy an application also uh, just through terraform thank you